Hello everyone, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. Welcome to the intuitive channeled messages that I'm able to tap into here today. It is a timeless message, so whenever you're guided to tune into this video, if you happen to come across it and if it makes sense for you, wonderful. So let me go ahead and see what comes through here today for the collective general advice as always. So please take from it what makes sense for you and release the rest. So starting with letters, names, and zodiacs. So if this is the first time that you are listening to these on my channel, if I happen to pick up off of double or triple letters, that could indicate that you and your person have the same initials or you have double letters in your name or even triple. And that could apply to zodiac signs as well. So let me see what I'm able to tap into here today. Give me one moment. Okay, so I'm picking up off of R, C, and a Z. That could be someone's initials, first, middle name, and last name. Could be a combination of you and your person. R, C, and a Z. I'm also seeing B and D. G and H. A and an O. M and N. Okay, so those are the letters that are coming through here today. As for the names that I am picking up, I am hearing Nancy. I'm hearing Mary. Marie or Maria. I'm hearing Peter or Pete, Petey, Pablo as well coming through, Pedro as well. I'm hearing Bo. Could be spelled either B E A U as well as B E A U X and also B O. So Bo. David is also coming through here. I'm hearing Darlene as well. Daisy is also coming through. Dee Dee. D-I-D-I, -D -I, as well as D-E-E-D-E-E. -E -E -E. I'm hearing Disney, so I don't know if that's somebody's actual name or somebody just really loves, you know, like Disneyland or anything to have to do with Disney. Some of you guys could already have children and maybe that's a favorite thing for the children in your family. That might play a significant role as the rest of this message plays out, but that's what's coming through there. I'm hearing Ray. I'm hearing Ranel. R-A-N-E-L-L. And R O N E L L, Ronell, Ronell, Ron as well, or Ronald. Could also be Nell, even Neil, L as well, or Ella. I'm hearing Zeke. I'm also hearing Zora, Z-O-R-A, or Z-O-R-A-H. I'm also hearing Zen. That could be someone's name, or somebody just loves to be in that state of peace, peaceful energy, that Zen state. Let's see what else is coming through here.
I'm seeing, okay, I'm hearing the word moon. Again, I don't, because I'm tapping into names, I don't know if that's someone's actual name or nickname, a part of their name. I'm also hearing Mooney. That could be somebody's last name, Mooney. Or again, a nickname. Okay, this is so strange. So I'm hearing the words child star. So somebody could have been an actor or in the entertainment industry when they were young. There's some significance there to identify somebody's identity. So if that applies to your situation or to you, the viewer, somebody could have been in the entertainment industry when you were really young or someone's thinking about it. I'm hearing Alex, could also be Alexander. I'm hearing Doris. Dolores as well, Dana, Diana, as well as Dinah, or even Dina. I'm hearing George. I'm hearing Gage, Gabriel. I'm hearing Henry. I'm hearing Haniel. That's like Daniel without the D. It's like an, an H, Haniel. Okay, um, that's just what I'm hearing. Okay, that's all I'm able to tap into as far as names here, guys. So let's go ahead and see what the Zodiacs are. Scorpio, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Gemini, Virgo, and Leo. That was quick. Those are the zodiac signs that I'm picking up. So Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. As for today's messages, what I'm able to tap into, I'm picking up off of a family dynamic. So for those of you who are very family-oriented, this could be your immediate family. This could be people that you consider to be like family. Doesn't necessarily have to be blood relatives. But there's a lot of family energy presenting itself here. These are the people that you are closest to. These are the people who would have your back. These are the people that will help you out no matter what. Part of the reason why my angel guides are bringing that up and what I'm feeling here is some of you feel like you're just overwhelmed right now yes it's a brand new year but you're also not quite knowing the direction that you want to go in order to create change in your life you can turn to the people that you can count on to help direct you in the right direction whether that's a parent a grandparent a sibling a friend an uncle an aunt it doesn't matter whoever you consider to be a part of your tribe your soul tribe your family they're there for you, but maybe some of you are actually hesitant to reach out because there's a part of you that just wants to do everything on your own to be able to achieve your goals, your dreams, whatever they might be this year. And all of those things can manifest, but some of you I'm feeling are a little bit apprehensive because you feel like you're tackling this journey all by yourself and you're not actually alone. You've got this tremendous support system. They're there for you. You know, in a way, the energy that I'm picking up from that is they're like training wheels. You know, you got to take off the training wheels in order to, dis to discover the direction that you want to go. But if you feel like you're going to fall, they're there to catch you. That's just the energy that I am picking up there when it comes to your family. They're there to catch you when you fall. They're there to lift you up. They're there to inspire you, to help you in any way that you need that assistance. For some of you, I'm also feeling that there is someone that you're thinking about that you are linked to romantically 
And because you don't have either you don't have family left or you just feel like you can't rely on your family, there's this one person that is in your heart and you trust them more than anything. That's the person that you rely on. You know who this person is. It could be a best friend. It could be somebody that you are, as I've mentioned, be romantically linked to. This could be your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your fiance, your wife, your husband, however way you see this person. This is the one person that you know on this planet has your back. So if you've been fortunate enough to find this person, somebody that you feel that way about, and if you guys are actually together and everything's going well, then that's fantastic. But I, I'm also instinctively feeling that there are those of you who are in separation from your person. And I'm just feeling here that they needed time away from you in order to grow and to learn and to gain whatever valuable lessons they needed to work through before they can come towards you as the partner that you need them to be. So what I'm getting here is a temporary separation. It's not meant for you guys to live life apart for the rest of your lives. I feel eventually this person will return. They will be back. They'll be back. So there, there will be a reconciliation from the one that you're thinking about, the one that you love. Let's see if I'm able to tap into one more message here for the collective. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna say what I'm hearing. I'm I'm hearing the ABC song. So A B C D E F G. So some of you guys might be homeschooling, some of you might be taking care of your children, certainly of school age, maybe at home. I mean, we are still in a pandemic here, so some of you guys might have decided to keep your children home, which is certainly your prerogative if you decide to do that. And it's still picking up off of the, the family energy. Just some of you who are sticking extra close to your loved ones, your family, your children, your spouse, the people that matter most to you. But there's some there's also some school environment that's popping up. So some of you guys might decide to go back to school this year. You might want to learn something new. You might want to improve your skills in a particular craft towards your career. It could be a hobby that you've never thought could turn into a career, but there's a possibility that that might happen because I'm picking up off of higher learning. I'm picking up off of higher education and my angel guides want me to let you know that you're actually on the right path. It's what's going to help you manifest so much, not just monetarily, but fulfillment, joy, happiness, a dream that you've been wanting to manifest. All of those things are possible by you putting yourself first. All of those things are possible. So that's fantastic. That's what I'm picking up here. I'm also, for some of you, take this only if it applies and take it only if you're even open to a reconciliation with someone from your past because this is coming through as an ex-partnership. So if you're listening to this and you're like, oh no, I'm done with my ex, then this part of the message more than likely will not pertain to you. Because what I'm feeling here is there's an ex who's still in love with you, you're still in love with your ex, and there's a possibility towards a reconciliation around February, which is right around the corner. So possibility for you guys to reconnect with an ex. All right, that is where I'm going to leave this message for today. I do hope whatever part of it you were able to relate to that it offers you insight that's helpful. And that's it for now, guys. Okay.